Hello and welcome to the lesson on generating random numbers using uh, C++. It, you want to be able to generate random numbers uh, in a game uh, because that's sort of like rolling the dice uh, and what have you. And they should be within a range that you can select. Uh, C++ uh, doesn't have a very straightforward way of generating random numbers. So what I've done here is I've created a class for you that will will uh, act as a die, like a four-sided die, a ten-sided die, a twenty-sided die, and so on. And in order to use this class, what I had to add was the C standard library. And the C standard library has the uh, random function in it, R-A-N-D, right here. It also has the S-RAN function. You wonder what's that? Well, that's for seeding the random number. The other thing it needs, it needs the C time function. And the reason why it needs that is in order to get a seed to generate the random number. Sounds a little bit weird, but bear with me. I'll try and walk you through this. We have our class, which I called random. We have a private integer here. It's private because I didn't say whether it's public or private. And if I don't say what it is, then it, it automatically is private. And this integer has an identifier, the seed. This is now public. This is going to be a method that returns an integer right here. And so there is the, it, it's therefore the data type is an integer. The method's name is rnd number. And it has an argument, uh, which is an integer for max. And the seed which is this right here, is going to be equal to the time. And the time, this function here, comes from C time, and it returns the number of seconds since January, uh, some date in January of um, uh, 1970. So this is a huge number. And this number, the seed, now acts as a seed to generate the random number, which really isn't a random number. It's a pseudo-random, but that's okay. It's good enough to pull for uh, a gamer. So I'm going to return now uh, a, a minimum value of 1 plus whatever the random number is that I get modulo whatever the value is that I put here for the max number. This is the mod operator, the modulo operator. And a modulo is simply the return uh, value uh, of, a, of, a, of a number with a particular divisor. And here the divisor is max. So this will be the maximum value I want my random number to be. So this ends, here's the class right here. This is the class definition right there. So I'm coming down here to main, and I'm, here is the, the class, random, and I'm going to make, I'm going to instantate the class and make a, an object called my random, and then see out the number is, and then my random dot rnd number, there's the function, or, or the method, okay, and I'm seeding it with, an R, with a value of 20, which means, I'm not seeding it with that, but I'm putting this in the argument, uh, a value of 20, which means that I'll generate a random number between and including 1 and 20 and system pause. So let's try it and see what I get. And it compiles and I come over here and I get a value of 10. Now since it's random, it's like a 20-sided dice, I could get the same number twice. I could get 10 two times in a row. Nothing prevents that. And there is a number of 20. So let's say I wanted to generate a random number between 1 and 10. So I just put 10 as the argument there, right down here. There's my 10. And then I'll, I'll try it again. Now, I should not get a number greater than 10. Okay, and there's my random number. It's a 1 this time. And I do it again. And there it goes. And this time it's a 4. So what I'm going to do with this in, in, uh, to make my games using C++, I'm going to take this class random. And I'm going to put it inside uh, my... Uh, uh, the mystuff.h header file that I created. So I can have some really cool stuff in that header file that I can use to create my really cool games. Okay, that's it for this uh, video. Thank you for watching.